Okay, so back to the uh, book nook and trench thing. <laughs> what to call it? Well, anyway, so what I've done, what I've been doing is um, laying some clay down. Uh, I've been putting clay in the uh, central bit, which how I did it was roll it up. I will will uh, do a demonstration video in a minute, but I probably won't be doing much talking during it because it's quite a mucky process. So I'll do the talking now. Uh, so yeah, so uh, laid all the clay down, and then um, I cut the uh, this trench section out. Cut that bit along there, the edge off. Uh, so I could push that down in the clay and make sort of the rough outline where the uh, sandbags will, were going to be going. I couldn't make the sandbags look so realistic. I might give it a go, um, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered in mud anyway. Um, hopefully in this section here, where I've put clay in between the two sections, I'm going to be putting a... A end on uh, putting an end on each end uh, so I can fill up with uh, false water also be making that look muddy as well so um, yeah um, hopefully this will come out and uh, you will see how I do it I'll probably be time-lapsing it because uh, like I said it's very very mud mucky you end up getting covered in clay I uh, should wear gloves really but I'll prefer the touch of the clay um, but yeah so uh, let's do this
Okay, now all the clay is dry. I'm uh, going to paint it black with uh, black surface primer. Okay, now it's now the black's uh, dried. I've been experimenting a little bit with some paints. Um, to do the sandbags, I'm going to be using uh, this yellow orc sort of colour, which is like a sand colour from my from a cheap um, watercolour paint set, just to get that sort of base colour down really. Okay right so the next colour to do it's a bit of a warm yellow sand. Um, but what I'm also going to do is mix a little bit of this in with it. Leave that first coat to dry and then come back and do a second coat. Uh, when you paint, when I painted it, uh, I sort of kind of do sort of like brush strokes so you give that sort of like canvas sort of looking effect on the sandbags. Well, I'll try anyway. <laughs> uh, whilst I'm waiting for the sandbags to dry, I'm going to uh, do the dark earth in this uh, middle section or the with the very depth of the trench. Uh, next I'm just going to use a bit of dark earth first off. First off. Then I'm going to use some of this thick mud, black mud. Uh, so with it still on the paintbrush, add a bit of water and you can sort of get into these bits here. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting other mud here anyway, but it just gets into the, gets into all the nooks and crannies. And a bit more dark earth, water. This is still basically a, ba a base colour because I will be uh, picked some mud on there anyway. Okay, for the next stage, I'm going to be adding some uh, light brown 
uh, to get it to look like more this one not so light like this one and then for this it's more or less like dry brushing Now I'm going to be adding this uh, stone grey for black wash, <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay now I'm going to go over with this uh, sand camo wash. Right, what I've done now is um, I've cut off, I did this off camera because uh, I was only just cutting bits of plastic, but I've cut these little bits of, uh, which come with a bit of packaging, plastic clear bits, come into little triangles, uh, put one here and put one just there. Um, stuck them in with a bit of uh, wood glue. So when I pour the fluid stuff in, which I'm going to mix with uh, a brownie colour, it should be, you should be able to just see it through a little gap there. Because <laughs> you won't see it because that would be on top and then you'll be able to see through the little gap there and your water's only going to come up to there anyway. So. But before then, I just want to uh, crack on with carry on doing these sandbags. I, I just did that as a little, just a little bit. So again, some light brown. So just be like dry brushing again. Okay, now I'm using this uh, black mud. I'm just going to place some down here. Okay, right, um, I actually forgot to press record when I was mixing up the, uh, basically what I mixed up was uh, a dark, dark earth with the, this, with this water, realistic water that you can get from most model shops. Um, I've actually had this one years, so it's lasted me years that one has. Um, yeah, mixed, mixed it all up with the dark earth and then poured it in I might uh, be doing another layer because this stuff since it does when it dries it does evaporate quite a bit and it leaves a bit of a sort of sinks down a bit so what I was going to do was another layer with signal green mixed in with the water stuff to give it a little bit of a greeny effect uh, on, the, on another layer sort of thing plus I've got to do all the 
the mud up here yet anyway so I will remember to record that one <laughs> okay right so let's mix up some signal signal green with the water solution basically this is what I did with the uh, muddy water as well you can buy products which are basically muddy water and so on yeah, it certainly does look very green so gonna add a little bit of dark earth to it So then using the little cup Hello, and now I'm going to start applying some of this dark earth mud from uh, AK Interactive. And whilst I'm doing that, I will uh, time lapse. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, because these have sunk down a bit, probably because of this stuff's quite old, <laughs> this realistic water, um, is to show you how to do the brown to make the muddy water. So, some of this real realistic water from woodland scenery. Dark, dark earth acrylic paint. Got a decent portion of that. And mix it all up. Pour it and then using an old paintbrush, I've already done it on this one.
Okay, right. Um, now I'm going to add the the boards at the bottom, or this or this thing that I made. Um, I've stuck this one down. It's basically just a bit of PVA glue or wood wood glue. Uh, now I was going to make, um, I was going to build uh, little trench benches, trench benches, is that the right term? And uh, the ladder, uh, but these are the ones that come with the kit. Uh, I wanted to practice my wood painting uh, skills, so uh, I, pa I painted them up anyway. And I thought actually they look alright, so I'm, I'm just going to use these. I was going to build some out of wood, but... Um, I think I'm just going to use these because otherwise they're not going to get used anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, but before I place them in, I just want to put some of the this dark earth terrain. Or should I put the light earth terrain? basically along to fill up the gap Right, so now I'm going to uh, stick some of these benches in. Just going to use a bit of super glue because uh, once they're stuck, I don't want them rattling around or anything. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat the process on this side. I won't record it because uh, it's, I'll just be re repeating what I've done basically. Okay, now I'm going to start uh, sticking this the, uh, figures on. I have done the straps as well. I'm basically going to be using, basically, I'm just using super glue. What I'm also going to be doing is putting some of this mud around, the, around some of the feet. I've just realised that doesn't really look damp enough, uh, so I'm going to add some of this. Uh. Damp earth along here.
Okay, so that's now all the figures uh, stuck in. Um, this is obviously the top here. You can see that that view. But obviously, when they're in the book nooks, there's going to be another panel either side with a picture of No Man's Land on it. And a mirror at the back to give it some depth. And I've got some printouts of some poppies. Poppy fields, I don't know if you can see that, which will go at the front. So basically, we'll go here with the with the trench bit cut out. So it should look nice. <laughs> um, so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Uh, please leave a like and please subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below um, Join me next time uh, probably gonna be able to have a little bit of a break from this um, I probably will be building the same girls anyway, um, but yeah uh, Be coming on to the final stage of this project so uh, Yeah, I'll keep you posted <laughs> Thank you Bye.